Next, we're going to create a new MCP app. So we're going to say MCP is equal to fast MCP. Okay, now for here, we can give this a name. So we can say name is equal to, and this is something that the MCP client or host is going to be able to see. So you want to define this something that makes sense. So in my case, I'm going to call this the notes app. Then what we're going to do is we're going to define our first MCP tool, and you're going to see how easy it is to make a tool here using this fast MCP um, library. Okay, so we're going to say at MCP dot tool, we're going to put a set of parentheses, and then we're simply just going to define a function that defines the tool that we want to make. Now I'm going to make a simple note application where users can create new notes and then retrieve the notes just to demonstrate how all of this works in the video. But obviously you could make something more complicated that had more useful tools. So what we're going to do is we're going to say define and the name of our tool is going to be get my notes. Okay. Then what this is gonna do is return a string. So I'm just gonna specify the Python type hint here, and then I'm gonna put a doc string, okay? Now the doc string that you write here is gonna be the description of the tool. So make sure you write something that's useful so that the MCP server knows when to call this tool. Function name here and the doc string are important. So I'm gonna say get, all notes for a user, okay? Then inside of here, for now, we're just gonna return no notes, okay? 